what gives your body energy. It also provides all the essential vitamins and minerals your body needs. A balanced diet includes good fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. After a spinal cord injury, your body's requirements for certain nutrients change. While your diet should remain balanced, it's important to be extra sure that you get enough fiber, fluid, vitamins, calcium, proteins, and healthy fats. In this section, we'll learn about the different kinds of nutrients you need to stay healthy and how you can get the right amount of these nutrients from the food you eat. Carbohydrates are the body's main and preferred fuel source. You should aim to get half of your calories from carbohydrates. There are two types of carbohydrates, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are sugars. The most healthy sources of these are found in milk, whole fruits, maple syrup, and honey, which also contain many essential nutrients. You should limit your intake of fruit juices and sugar-containing beverages because they don't provide as many nutrients and have been linked to the development of obesity and diabetes. Complex carbohydrates are starches. The best sources are found in whole grain breads, whole grain pasta, brown rice, and vegetables. Complex carbohydrates are a great source of energy and nutrients, as well as fiber. As we've already seen, fiber is an important part of your diet. It helps to move your food through your digestive system, and it can also reduce blood sugar and cholesterol, lowering the risk of diabetes and heart disease. Fiber is found in vegetables, whole grains, such as oats and barley, and the skin of most fruits, like apples. So aim for complex carbohydrates as much as possible, and be sure to include these healthy sources of energy in your diet every day. Your body uses protein to build and repair tissue. The recommended daily requirement is one gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. For most people, this means between 40 to 65 grams of protein a day. Protein sources include beans, soy, meat, fish, poultry, eggs, nuts, seeds, and dairy foods like cheese and yogurt. If you want a simple guide, use your own protein meter, the palm of your hand. The size of the palm of your hand equals about one serving of protein, and you need two to three servings every day. You may need to increase your daily protein intake by 50% if you have a pressure sore or if you're trying to build muscle or gain weight. It's important not to exceed the recommended daily intake of protein. Too much protein may contribute to the development of kidney stones. There is a lot of misinformation about fats and many people are afraid of eating fat because they think it will make them overweight and unhealthy. What's important for you to know is that fats are divided into good fats and bad fats. We need to eat the good fats to maintain our health. Good fats are found in foods such as olive oil, avocados, fish, nuts, and seeds. Many of these sources, especially fish, contain healthy omega-3s. Good fats boost our health because they help reduce inflammation, lower bad cholesterol, and help decrease the risk of heart disease and stroke. Bad fats are trans fats. These are artificial fats. They're often hidden in many processed packaged foods like salad dressings, cookies, cakes, ice cream, chips, and fried foods. These are the worst type of fat and should be completely avoided. You can avoid these bad fats by reading food labels carefully. You should also limit your intake of saturated fats. These are found in animal sources like meat and cheese. The fat content of foods can depend on how the food is prepared. A chicken breast has four grams of fat when it's roasted, but 13 grams when it's fried. Fat can also hide in unexpected places. A tablespoon of salad dressing can contain up to eight grams of fat, and a slice of cake or pie can contain more than 15 grams of fat. So don't be afraid of fat. Just focus on making good choices by eating the good fats and avoiding the bad ones.